my loves welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this monochromatic brown makeup look and honestly you guys the inspiration behind this makeup look has to be the lipstick that i'm wearing today i don't know if you guys have seen my recent video where i reviewed a couple of products from house of makeup and one of the product was this guy this is their pout potion liquid lipstick i absolutely love these liquid lipsticks they feel really comfortable on your lips they stay on your lips for a really long time so i'm not gonna sit here and rave about how good their product is in case if you guys want to see what i feel about this liquid lipstick and other products from house of makeup then i would leave it somewhere on the screen and in the description box below for you guys to check it out but in that video i mentioned that i absolutely love this shade from their pout potion liquid lipstick collection this has to be my favorite out of all the shades that i swatched in that video so i knew that i had to create a makeup look using this liquid lipstick so that is what i'm doing today this look is inspired by this lipstick and i'm really happy with the way this makeup look turned out so in case if you guys want to see how i achieved this makeup look then please continue watching okay so like always i'm gonna start by priming my eyelids using my concealer and also i've already done my eyebrows in case if you can't tell already so now I'm going to be taking my Makeup Revolution Iconic Division palette and then I'm going to be taking this matte mustardy yellow shade from the palette and I'm going to be applying it slightly above where my crease is. Also in case if you guys are wondering, I used my Pro Art PE20 brush. Okay, so once I'm happy with that shade, I'm going to use this orangey mustard shade from the same palette and I'm going to start defining my crease with this color. You guys, this is very random, but I did color my hair and for some reason it's not showing up on camera and it's pissing me off. Oops, so okay, we are on to the next step already. So I'm going to be taking that maroonish matte shade from the palette and I'm going to darken my crease with this shade now. So I'm slowly going to be building up the intensity of that maroon shade in my crease. I'm not going in with that shade all at once. I'm using my Pro Art PE23 brush to do this step. I really like this brush whenever I'm working with deeper shades in my crease. So I'm going to be using that same orangish mustard shade from the palette and I'm going to be using it to further blend out the maroon because I really want my blend to be as seamless as possible. Next up, I'm going to be taking that matte brown shade from the palette and I'm going to be applying that shade all over my lid using patting motions because I really want that pigment to come through. So once I'm done applying that shade all over my lid, I'm going to be using that same shade on a detailed blending brush and I'm going to be using that to diffuse that shade in my crease. Once I've lightly blended it out, I'm going to be taking that same maroon shade and I'm going to be applying it on my crease again just to bring that maroonyness in my crease. Then to further define my lash line, I'm going to be using that really dark brown shade from the palette and I'm going to be applying it very close to my lashes. Not lashes, lash line. Sorry. <laughs> For some reason, I cannot speak today and I can tell already that this voiceover is gonna be a mess. Good job, good job. Anywho, moving on to my face. I'm gonna be priming my face using this primer by Sugar and I'm gonna be focusing this mainly on the centers of my face. This is a pore filling primer so I'm really pressing it into my skin. In case if you're working with a pore filling primer, I would recommend pressing it into your skin so that way it's gonna really fill into those pores. Okay, so once I've primed my face, I'm gonna be taking the mixture of those two foundation that I showed earlier and I'm gonna be applying it all over my face that's what you do with foundation babies that's what you do <laughs> okay so once i'm happy with that i'm gonna be using this concealer by maybelline and i'm rubbing my mouth here because i took a break a mini break i had some eggs because my boyfriend made me some eggs and ooh la la it was super yummy <laughs> okay back to the concealer you guys so i'm applying it to my usual places as you guys can see nothing new here and I'm going to be blending it out using my favorite concealer brush, which is the Pack 219 brush. I love this brush for concealer. I've said it a million times already, so I'm not going to repeat myself. So first, I'm going to blend the concealer on the centers of my face and then I'll move on to my under eye concealer. Can you guys see how beautifully this brush blends your concealer? Oh my god. 
chef's kiss. I love this concealer brush. Oh, highly recommend. Okay, my baby. So once I'm done blending in the concealer, I'm going to be setting it into place using this contouring palette by Wet n Wild. I believe this is their Dulce de Liche palette. So I'm going to be taking this highlighting palette and I'm going to be setting my concealer into place. I am focusing this powder mainly on the areas that I applied my concealer. So that is the centers of my face, the corner of my mouth, the under eyes. Yeah. Then taking the contouring side from the palette, I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit just to add a little bit more color because right now my face looks completely flat. So I'm bronzing my face very lightly because I'm going to be contouring my face later on. So once I'm done bronzing my face, I'm going to be moving on to contouring. So to contour my face, I'm going to be using this contour powder by Sugar. And I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones, my jawline because double chin, hello. <laughs> I'll also be contouring my nose with this contour powder. I've been trying different techniques to contour my nose and uh, it's not that perfect you guys but yeah I'm trying. Okay so once your face is snatched I'm gonna be using this blush by Rimmel and I'm gonna be using the palest shade from the palette. So I'm being very light-handed with this blush because oh my gosh it is pigmented okay <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna be highlighting my face using this highlighter by wet n wild and i'm highlighting in the usual places you guys know the trail so once i'm done highlighting my face i'm gonna quickly mesh in all the powder together using this mist by the beauty Co. and yeah i'm gonna fan it out using my hands very professional you know okay so the face is nicely set i'm gonna be moving on to my lower lashes now so first i'm gonna be taking that shade from the palette and i'm gonna be applying it very messily on my lower lash line and then i'm gonna be taking this brown shade that we applied all over our lid using on a pencil brush i'm gonna be smoking out my lash line so once I'm done with smoking out my lower lashes, I'm going to move on to my inner corner highlight and my brow bone. I'm going to be using the same highlighter that I used all over my face. And yeah, just highlight my inner corners and my brow bone, you guys. Oh, and I'll also be applying some false lashes off camera because yeah ain't nobody got time for that to do it on camera so with the magic of editing i've got my eyelashes on if only it were that easy in real life mm -hmm. okay so i quickly did my lower lash mascara by the way and i'm gonna be taking this lip liner now by forever 52 and i'm gonna be lining my lips and now comes the star of the show this bad boy oh my god this lipstick is everything Oh my god, can you see how delicious that looks? Oh, I absolutely love this lipstick and kudos to House of Makeup on nailing this liquid lipstick formula. It's so comfortable. Highly recommend. Okay, so I quickly curled my hair because I wanted to look a little bit fancy for the video. Uh, so yeah, there you go guys. That is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really love the way this makeup look turned out. And obviously, the star of this tutorial has to be the lip shade that I'm wearing. It's such a beautiful lip shade, you guys. Ugh, I love everything about this lipstick. Also, in case you guys are interested in this liquid lipstick or any other products from House of Makeup, Makeup. I do have a discount code with them wherein you get 20% off in case if you use my discount code. So I'm going to leave the discount code somewhere on the screen and in the description box below for you guys to check it out. But yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. In case you did, then don't forget to like this video and also share this video with your friends and family. And uh, while you guys are at it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell notification to be notified every time I post a video. And with that, you guys, I'm going to take a leave and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye, my loves. Mwah.